question on drilling versus time sections. Do you recommend equal time allocation to these two or more of one? Um, yeah, a balance is good and lots of different things, right? So um, whatever you're feeling that day, a little bit one day, a little bit the next. I mean, ultimately time sections are the game, right? We're, we're gonna be doing time sections on our official test. And so we must do time sections when we practice. The demon drilling though is probably a little bit more efficient for learning. So I would practice timed sections and then I would also drill in the demon because the demon's gonna target like your mistakes, the ones you're missing the most. So I don't know, a little bit of both. I think 50-50 is fine. Corey asks, what's the uh, minimum amount of studying you recommend per day? He suggests one and a half. Corey's trying to negotiate, so he wanted me to anchor on the one and a half hours, just in case I was going to say six. Um, no, uh, it's I, the thing I always say, I've said it on the podcast a million times, I want your best hour a day, one hour, but it's the best one. Okay, so whenever you're the most focused, optimistic, uh, ready to like commit to this idea, the thing I was talking about with Rob earlier, where you're gonna get them right. You know, you're gonna like force yourself to get them right. When you're in that kind of a, of a mindset, that's, that's the hour that I want. And if you do more than that hour, fine. Just give me that hour. I, I really honestly believe that if you did that really high quality hour every single day, you would be making tons of progress. I'd rather have that one really good hour than three shitty hours. Okay. Or than a shitty hour and a half. So give me the best hour you got. And I know you're going to make progress. Um, for some people, y'all hate to hear this. Sometimes I would hate to hear this. Um, before work is <laughs> frequently the best hour. It sucks because I'm not a morning person, but if you, if you can force yourself to do it, uh, for some of you, that's gonna be the most efficient hour. Some of you can also carve it out, especially these days when everybody's working from home, you might be able to carve it out in the middle of the day somehow in a way that you couldn't when you used to have to go to the office. Um, after work might be okay, but if you've got a taxing, mentally taxing job, um, I just, I, I really doubt that that's, or, you know, or if school's really hard or, or whatever else you got on your plate, I just have a um, suspicion that that's not going to be the most efficient hour of your day. So maybe not after work for some of you. Um, 